Hello everyone, I am Dr. A. Kundu, Consultant Cardiac Surgeon at National Heart Institute, New Delhi. Do you know that worldwide 31% of deaths are caused by cardiovascular diseases of which heart attack is a very major cause? In India, there has been a 50% jump in cases of deaths due to heart attacks in the past 5 years. So it's important that we identify a person having a heart attack and rush him or at least give first aid as quickly as possible for two reasons. First, if a person has had a cardiac arrest following a heart attack, his brain will undergo irreversible damage in three or four minutes unless the blood supply is restored. Secondly, as heart attacks are due to an acute cutoff of the blood supply to the heart muscle, if we do not restore the blood supply within six hours of the heart attack, a period that is known as the golden period, the heart muscle will also undergo irreversible damage. So when a person has a heart attack, the earlier he or she is given first aid in the form of CPR and rushed to a medical facility to get the blood supply to the heart restored within six hours, the greater the chances of having a major portion of heart muscle viable and surviving following the event. So this golden period within which a person must be revived given first aid and rushed to a medical facility is imperative so as to save the maximum number of lives and heart muscle for people undergoing or sustaining a heart attack. What is angina? Well, angina is a type of chest pain caused by reduced blood flow to the heart. Angina is a symptom of coronary artery disease. Now, symptoms of angina Dizziness, fatigue, nausea, shortness of breath, and sweating. What is heart attack? A heart attack occurs when the flow of blood to the heart is blocked. The blockage is most often a buildup of fat, cholesterol and other substance which form a plug in the arteries that feed the heart, basically coronary artery. Symptoms of heart attack First, pressure, tightness, pain or a squeezing or aching sensation in your chest or arms that may spread to your neck, jaw or back. Second, nausea, indigestion, heartburn or abdominal pain. Third, shortness of breath. Fourth, cold sweat. Fifth, fatigue. Sixth, lightheadedness or sudden dizziness. Difference between a heart attack and an angina This causes symptoms of angina and is a sign that your heart needs to rest. The key difference between angina and a heart attack is that angina is the result of a narrow rather than blocked coronary arteries. This is why, unlike a heart attack, angina does not cause permanent heart damage. First aid action for heart attack and angina. If you think someone is having a heart attack or angina, have the person sit down, rest and try to keep calm. Help move the casualty into a comfortable position. The best position is on the floor, with their knees bent and their head and shoulders supporting. You could place cushions behind them or under their knees. Loosen any tight clothing. Cover the casualty with a blanket, if possible. Ask if the person takes any chest pain medicine for a known heart condition. Help them to take it. Last but not the least, seek for medical attention. Sooner, better. Always remember, time is very important.
when an unconscious person is not breathing. Permanent brain damage begins after only 4 minutes without oxygen and death can occur as soon as 4 to 6 minutes later. It causes the person to fall unconscious and stop breathing. Without CPR, the person will die within minutes. CPR should only be used if someone is unconscious and not breathing.